It's a case got, that got the attention of the entire state when a Lincoln woman named Sydney Loof disappeared nearly three years ago. Pieces of her body were found later in Saline County. Now, Aubrey Trail has been sentenced to death, and today his co-conspirator, Bailey Boswell, began her sentencing trial. Again, the state is seeking the death penalty. 3 News Now reporter John Kipper is in Wilbur and tells us what both arguments, what arguments both sides are making. Wednesday was a graphic day with photos of Sydney Luce's dismembered body shown to the three judge panel, most of which we can't show you. State prosecutors did this because they argue the crime was particularly cruel or manifested an exceptional depravity by ordinary standards of morality or intelligence. Doug Warner with the state says Loof was singled out as a victim. That the murder, uh, whether it was apparent relishment of the murder by the defendant, needless mutilation of the victim, senselessness of the crime, and helplessness of the victim. Loof's body was cut into several pieces and had some damage to the parts that were not cut, most occurring after the murder, some before. Boswell's defense attorney, Todd Lancaster, says the state's case relies on body mutilation, which took place after her death. He says Loof's murder does not fit into the specific criteria that warrants the death penalty for Boswell. Mutilation cases should be limited to cases where the mutilation is not simply an effort to hide the crime. The evidence you're going to see today is based on an effort to hide the crime. Here's a quick rundown of the case. Sydney Loof met Boswell on the dating app Tinder in November of 2017. Boswell and her co-conspirator, Aubrey Trail, eventually lured Loof to their Wilbur home. A few weeks later, authorities found Loof's body in pieces in rural Clay County. The culmination of their search results reveals recovery of all parts of Sydney's body except for the upper left arm. Trail was sentenced to death earlier this month, and Boswell was convicted of first-degree murder last fall. Now as the state seeks the death penalty, prosecutors put up Eli McBride with the FBI to describe the investigation, and pathologist Dr. Michelle Eliff, who did Luth's autopsy. Eliff pointed to the injuries that occurred either before or after Luth's death, some of which was done by animals. The trial continues Thursday. Now as for Boswell, she largely stayed stoic in the courtroom on Wednesday, but she did look down and didn't look at the especially graphic images. Reporting in Wilbur, John Kipper, 3 News Now.